Surviving from a storm? Sometimes that's all we can do. All right, let's do that. And then let me also do this. This. Hello, hello, Nike, what's up? You're digging the eyeshadow too? Hey, thanks. I would do eyeshadow like this like all the time if I had the patience. Cause it's like my favorite colors. It's like this, the colors I would want on stream all the time, if possible. All right. The time egg. All right, we are in the future. Are we going back to Baltazar? Is Baltazar? Baltazar. Who? Which game had Zvaltazar? Oh, someone. Thank you, Omnifor. I appreciate that. Is this where I need to be? Is this where I know where to go? My memory on what exactly to do to save Chrono is a little fuzzy. So yeah, we have to go through the store. Pendant Shimmers. I think we have to go to like a certain area like a peak, but I forget if there's any other steps. Hello. Okay, oh, it's Balthazar. On death's peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate the power, the deceased must be important to the time space-time continuum, and you must have a clone. Yes, okay, so we have the clone. Enough, oh! The time has come for you to attempt death peak. Oh, interesting. Why are you LMA? L M F A O A. Nectar. Seems like a good deal of work to get it looking like that. Yeah. Stop it, SARS! What did SARS do? SARS hasn't even done anything here. Oh, probably just some 14 year old? Wait, what is this? Oh, oh my god, wait, I just saw. It's a funny story. I know the story. Let me catch up. I didn't actually read what happens in before. I got in here. Congratulations on nabbing first though, Victor. And hello, GD, if you are here, hello, Thunder. Let me see, you win this round, my guy. Thanks, brother, you caught me sleeping yesterday. Probably just some 14 year old. Hello also to Argo and Tibu. I'm sorry that we only had Tifa's theme. I wonder if we had, if I ask Merc to compose a version of Corridor some time, but I would need to do a, a Chrono Trigger cosplay for that, I feel, or should. That'd be nice. You win either way. Just some 14 year old is so funny. Yeah, wouldn't that be dope? I like his rendition of Tifa's theme, so. Okay, hold on. Let me see, okay. The last program I've implanted in this creature's memory banks will help you up the mountain stand back. Oh! I thought I had to go find Death Peak, but apparently we just have to come back here. That's fine. Like a little sheep. Executing program. Some sense. Executing program? Executing program. Oh boy. The three entities you saw will help you climb death this ends my message. Now I must ask you for a favor. This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. The switch is on his stomach. Is it now my choice? Is this a decision now? I don't know if, if I look at it, that's the decision. Or if I feel like I have an option to just let him be alive. I don't know. I'm gonna save. Oh, you're right. Oh no, the donut wall is cut off. Hold on. We're just gonna hop over here to make life easier on me and to do it this way. Where'd it go? It didn't. It didn't do shit. All right. Well. Real quick. 
Eh. I just want to play as a culty little lamb, guys. There we go. Okay. Hello, hello, Shar! You heart the look today? Thank you! I am good. I'm trying to save my homie. Wait, Sars. I will ask you because I am unsure. Is turning this guy off a story decision? I feel like turning him off is a story decision. I am afraid to look at him. In case it automatically shuts him off. He was like, he told me how to get to Death Peak. Can or can't? I'm afraid interacting with him will automatically turn it off. I don't know if it'll say more things, so I'm gonna say. Friday on your weekend? Spending it just how you want with ya? Aww. Hey, Char. You want him to have a long nap or not? He asked for it. He was like, he was like, oh, this creature has completed all their tasks. Please, like, switch them off. And I'm like, I don't, what if, is that my decision to make? I can decide if he can rest. So it's either let him rest or let him keep working. I'm always like unsure cause I'm like, I don't know exactly what I'm asking of you. Mood. Oh well, I will give him the rest. Rest is important. I don't know if it's like a, he'll just keep going on forever. If he said he's done with his tasks, I assume he just waits. I don't know if me powering him off is like a kill him forever thing, like. I don't know if something's changed because I left to save because I am unsure of things. Switch, okay, there we go. Switch the creature off. I don't know if this means we can power him back on, but yes, that is what he asked. The cre this creature sleeps beyond the flow of time. Okay. We turn him off. Hopefully that was like a fine decision to make or else I will be stressed. Ah. I love being stressed about decisions I make no matter what decision it is. Okay, well, we have friends to help us climb Death Peak. Now I gotta find where the fuck Death Peak is. I don't think it's that thing. I don't know what time period Death Peak is. Um, maybe it's in the past. I have a feeling it's like in the prehistoric times, but I honestly have no idea. I know, I hate that. There has to be decisions if there's gonna be like a bazillion endings. I just want the best ending. Your PC's running way too hot? How hot is your PC? Were you happy with the ending you got, SARS? Am I gonna be happy? Oh, thanks, Argentum. I appreciate that. You were? Okay. How similar are my decisions to yours? Prioritizes low noise over cooling? Oh no. That's not necessarily good. Okay, there's this, what is this cave? Good luck with your cheesecake. You got lava destroys everything that you got earlier in the bucket at least once. I feel that. You were, okay. Might have been awake for a very long time so it could be good to just let it rest. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is the sun keep. You let the new take the long nap, we both kept Magus. I see. You got an unorthodox ending. I wonder how close I am to the end of the game. Oh, this is, this is not anything. Which you were not too happy with? Oh. I am curious. 
curious what ending I will get. Does anyone know? Can you tell from this early on probably what I'm headed towards? The Louvre of Ruins. Happy Thursday, Thunder. It is all good. I am getting the feeling that Death Peak is like not here. Like water here. Thank you. Hello, Epic Lols. Thank you for subscribing with your Prime. It didn't turn. I asked him about it because he dropped by earlier, and I also gave him some food that I had made. Um, it was like not a pudding. It was kind of like a souffle, but then after it like sat, it just kind of deflated, and it was just sad. Ending nine is best. You can't tell at this point. Okay, no more endings than you remember. Okay, I don't think Death Peak is like here, question mark. This is, what is this exactly? This is Lair Ruins. Okay, I wasn't sure if it would be uh, evident at the point that I am at. Can we go to the end of the world? Does the end of the world automatically put us, put us in the bucket? We'll just go through, I guess, see where we wind up. I know that there's like a lot of endings, but I don't really know. Basically bucket via the epoch. Okay. Oh my god. Where's, where's the land? Oh. Okay. Everywhere is like underwater. I think this is where the last of the people are. This is the Sun Keep. You can choose your own adventure now, truly. I'm just trying to find Death Peak. I really think there's actually like nothing here at this point in time. The Dark Ages? We're truly at the point where it is called the Dark Ages. So let's go to the Middle Ages. There's 12 endings. I see first down the DS. A bucket, you can go straight to the final boss and come in a different area. Yeah. There's a couple different ways to go straight to Lavos. There's a lot of endings. So there is... It's a lot of official endings. Clash by Lavos, I believe, is an ending, yes. Probably, like, ending 12. Wait, what the fuck is this? Ozzy's Fort? I kind of want to check this out. Lavos winning is a bad end. Yeah. I, oops. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I should use a shelter. A. Ooh, but we can also just go to a inn. I should technically stop by an inn before going here, but... It's not a bed in for Lavos. True. That's Lavos' best ending. And no worries, GD. I don't think I've ever been in, in this place. Aussie's Fort? Yeah, this dude. Come on in! This is the great Aussie's place. What the? You're the great Magus! Oh shit, yeah, I have him in my party. You're doing well, Ozzy. The nerve, deserting your fellow mystics to serve these humans. You're a traitor. You're not our king. Oh my god. This could only have happened if I chose to have Magus in my party, and I did because I didn't know what he could do, and I wanted to see what he could do, and I didn't realize that I could bring him to this specific place. The amount of things that had to line up in order for me to see this cutscene is insane. Why did you desert us? I forgot this is also the time period that Lavos like led the fucking fight. Oh my God. It's really hard to keep like five timelines straight on top of like all the other games I'm playing. Maybe Lavos is self-aware and wants to be defeated. Maybe Lavos has reverted to more primal or just like a peach. Yeah, it's 
Oh, any notes? And this is why this game is so cool? Yeah, I'm just like in awe that I have uh, stumbled across this interaction. Cause he's, he specifically called out Magus and I was just like, oh shit, you're right, he's in my party. Oops, why did you desert us? Oh, and he's just hopping away. Okay. I wonder what happens if I don't have Magus. Yeah. You pesky, low-down, good-for-nothings. Ooh, I'll have you begging for mercy. Flee! And now we're fighting Flea? As much as Dragon Horse has your heart, it's very linear, typically. I see. Hi, Asta, what's up? It's going well. You sent for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, who do you bribe to get in here? Traitors like you deserve a beating. Oh, great Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these cretins. Counting on you, Flea. I forgot how to fight Flea. Get ready for a slapping good time. Get it? Oh, boy. Flea plus. Oh, really? Only like 76? I guess I will tech heal us for, for fun. Everyone benefited from that. We can just all attack. Woo! Crispy critical. We are doing like 1k damage per round between the three of us. I feel pretty strong. If Crunch was voice, would y'all cast English or Japanese? Oh my god, I completely She got wrecked. She's already she's already done. Robbie leveled up. Oh, just you wait, we'll teach you a lesson. Sure. I wonder if I can only get this far once I have Magus in my party. Howdy! You're nothing but common thieves. Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. Oh my god. Okay. And away we go! What do we fight? Coffee? Goodbye! Oh my god, the music! Oz- Ozzy's in a pickle! Oh my god. Out of here! Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about characters that speak of- Like, when they- when they like treat- They talk about themselves in third person, like... You still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Ozzy Osborne for Ozzy. Hi, Crows. Elder anything and give it all accents? Slash! You rang? Slash, don't let me down. Just really lean into it. At first, I really didn't want to slice and dice yet, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? Okay, let's keep the poop out of him. I feel like Undertale had to have taken some inspiration from this game, all the cheeky moments. It probably did. I know that it is heavily inspired by at least Earthbound, but like, I'm sure it, you know. The sass from all these characters is, it does remind me a lot of like, Undertale. I love Undertale so much. Oh, well, there there we go. Aesthetically, it just bleeds earthbound. Oh yeah, it sure took from Live Alive so you could see it doing that in others. Ouch! Oh, and there he goes. There they go. Um, is that a treasure chest? Come on, sweethearts! Oh, I want that treasure chest. Mwaha, gotcha! Oh no. I don't care. Give me the chest. 
chest. A full ether. How much damage should we take? That hurt. I'm leaving. I know, right? Oh no. Oh no! It did hurt us really bad. I was like, it's probably gonna bring us down to one HP. Heal me. That's fine. Heh <laughs> heh, not so fast, friends. I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. Aussie pants. Flea vest. Slasher too. These unique items make us invincible. I'm really pressing X to down here. Great Aussie super slash. Ooh, that is actually quite strong. Water too, and we'll get Robbie on healing duty. Oh, they're doing like group attacks and stuff. I'm impressed. Here's a difficulty spike. Delta Force. What? Wow, this is quite a difficulty spike. I mean, I can also get Kermi. Okay. I need you guys to stop. They must have crazy speed. Bad impulse? Are you kidding me? Dude, they keep doing group and three person attacks. Holy shit. Okay, well now Kermi's down. Live Alive looks like something you should be playing soon. God, that's like not gonna be enough. With the amount of turns they take from when I take a turn? Like, I don't think that I will be able to do too much. Gonna hang over JRPG after all the Square Enix releases and all this Chrono Trigger. So you start playing it. Dragon Quest XI? How's that treating ya? I've heard really good things about it. Yeah, I don't know, Lightning too. And, uh... Cast Cure 2 on yourself, right? You have heresy to report in? It's... Oh no! Oh, look at this fucking Delta 3 stuff. I don't know if Kermie's gonna survive this. I don't think he'll get his heal off. Oh, he's like barely, he's barely there. Yeah. Chonky damage from Magus. I completely missed it. How much damage? Did See, look at this. They do back to back three person things. I don't know if we're gonna survive. Oh, okay. They hit just Magus, but now he's dead. 500 to 600? Holy shit. I need to have him doing, like, magic. Stories like a trope stacked on trope. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, here, Robbie. Yeah, his magic is very buff. I guess I could have here too onto Vagus, but it's DQ. They are the trope. Prison Beam Darkness? Oh my god, I swear to god. Don't give me a status ailment. Okay, Magus. Get the shit out of him. Okay, I'm gonna throw a Cure 2 on Kermie because it's gonna fucking need it. Have you ever wanted to discover you were the Chosen One at the end of the tutorial and just get told you were the Chosen One? uphill battle. If we didn't have Magus to stack doing damage, I think uh, this would be really bad. I can do a cure wave. I don't think it matters. I think I'm gonna go down here. That's how a lot of DQ titles start. Really. Look at 
Yes. Six hero, congrats, time to reveal you are the legendary hero. Okay. I guess it's like a down. Alright. Cure wave. No! Can't do cure wave. Item. Fucking need that shit. Here too. Oh my god, don't kill him. I know, that was super mean. Can do that. What is this? No, he's poisoned. Works. This game is a lot harder if you've been playing DQ for a while. These back-to-back -back three monster techniques are brutal. Because it's essentially like 400-ish damage. On top of the singular attack that they do. Magus is gonna die. Oh, I think this targets a specific person. Yeah, that's just Magus. I need to fucking heal myself. It's your intro to DQ. I'm running low on magic too. Okay, I'm going to get. Oh, we're gonna try to tank through this. Get Robbie up. And hopefully he will live. God. Heal yourself. You are doing so bad. I'm not attack we need. You. Gosh. This is quite a struggle. Don't hit Magus! Shit, he's dead. Again, I just got him up. Okay. Can I get this off? Okay. Everyone else might die through this next wave of attacks. Kill him? No, he's not dead yet. I do healing heals everyone, and then I need like a full ether. I know, I don't know how I'm still standing. I'm really like, this is quite an uphill battle. I think we're all at max HP now, all of a sudden, miraculously. I'm just gonna stack heals. You like some of the subsystems? You wish to give yourself more harder? like one group attack and then two single attacks but they really like no matter what it is guaranteed to like kill the sheer amount of damage that it does is like nuts I need to get at least like one of them down I can't focus on getting him need to heal us. I 
don't think that I necessarily have, like, I can try to see, I don't know if there's anything I can do to... Tackle, laser, spin, punch. Delta Force. Magus is up. Maybe it's better to keep Magus dead. They're trying really hard to keep Magus dead. Definitely do Delta Force. Robbie's going down. At least this cure will go off, but it'll go off on Kermi, I guess. Ooh. Oh, and then we're gonna get their other. Oh shit. Psych! Okay, hold on. Ah! He's like super dying. automatically kill Robbie. Fuck! We're both gonna fucking die. You guys both have to fucking heal the shit out of yourself. I'm really just tearing through so many of my resources. This battle is so cursed. I'm fighting so hard just to stay alive. Fuck. I can't even like Delta Force. Or not Delta Force, just that. Shit, we just took out two of them! No more like Delta Force attack! Oh my god, it paid off. Holy shit. Just beat the 
fuck out of Ozzy. There we go. 7,500 experience points. 80 tech points. 4,000 gold. Fermi leveled up and learned Frog Squash. Magus leveled up. Robbie leveled up. Everyone wins. What in the... Holy balls, dude. That better be it. Just to be on the safe side. I'm a heal beam, everyone. Kerm using his thickness offensively. A dash ring and a, a sight cap? Let me take a look at what that does exactly. No hero metal does. Dash ring is speed plus three. That's kind of nice. Wait, what's the amulet do? Raven armor, better than everything. Doom helm, what's a sight cap? Oh, prevents chaos. Whatever that may be. What's the doom helm? Nothing. Just very strong. Well, this is defense is actually so lower than everyone else. Oh, his speed's actually pretty fast too. What's the amulet do? Oh, the chaos thing? Protects status? Oh, interesting. I, is it like a ribbon? I guess. Time hat? Oh. He's the only one that could wear the doom helm, but the sight cap is like so much better. The speed belt is the. What did, what did I get? Oh, power plus two, defender. The dash ring is even better. He has the lowest speed stat, but now it's that much better with the dash ring. Alright. Well, let's go chase after Ozzy. I guess. Hey, Batch. Magus, you lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil. You used me. Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It's the sound of the Reaper. I can't lose. Oh, shit. What would become of my mystics? I must win. God, if I lose this fucking fight, can I hit him with fire? Wow. What are you aiming at, you fool? What? Oh, now we're all hit with it. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Mwaha, gotcha! Adios, amigos. Okay, I mean, that makes it easier for me, I guess. I don't know why things gotta be like this. I should probably use one of these. Probably should have dug that pit a little deeper. Uh, it's really just the previous room. Okay. Are we okay on heals too? Let me just make sure. I think our health is fine, but. And by a little bit, I mean max out our HP, but.
What was he trying to accomplish? <coughs> Is he back down here? Now I can't reach them. I guess I'll just leave. I can't see what the middle switch does. Yeah, that cat just really waltzed right in and destroyed him. Um, I guess it also didn't drop him at this level, so. Thank you, this is just the username. I guess I'm leaving? Is there anything else I could do there? Okay. For extra security now, I'm gonna use a shelter. And then I guess I'll hop back in to make sure that I have obtained absolutely everything. I thought there might be like more. I thought there would be something at least at the very end. I thought, I don't know, I could interact with them or something. Wait a sec. There's some hidden? Okay. Hidden, like, go through the wall? 100%? Not 100%. Go poke around? Okay. Poke around. Hi, dear B. What's up, dude? How are you this lovely Thursday? Should I be mashing X? I'm mashing X. I kind of feel like it would be in that room. Poke the walls like Wolfenstein. You don't think Corona Trigger has items hidden behind walls? Gaten and cruising towards the weekend. Nice, nice. Glad you are doing well. Empty. Empty. I didn't realize that they would tell you when they were empty. Kind of neat. Oh, oh, aha. A doomsicle? What's this? Magic tab? Is it only this one? A gloom helm? And a gloom cape? I'm pretty sure this is all for Magus. Hey, do... Do folks have, like, ultimate... I did that first battle here hard mode? Just forgot about this one. The one against Flea? A doom sickle has two sticks so you can share. There are ultimate equipment? Oh, the final three battle of them that I took a bit on? How did I do it hard mode? Of course I did. Holy shit, that side cap makes him fucking jerked! 173? If you take him out of a certain order with physical versus magic, it would be easier? Damn. I'm really out here making things harder for myself. 
Yeah, he buff buff. How'd you know how to do that? By uh, smacking him instead of trying to use Magus as my DPSer. Or attacker, I guess. He's not technically DPS, and he was not doing enough damage in seconds to be considered a DPSer. Okay. Yeah, I'd stop him if he killed the one who was involved in all of them first. Yeah. Like, focusing on only one, which I, like, contemplated. But I was like, well, I was too busy focusing on chugging heals. So it would have been easier for me if I just focused on taking one out, but... Yeah. Oh. I mean, that does sound like a thing. Yeah, we got there! It just... It was just excruciating. So there's nothing else in there once Ozzy falls through the pit? Like... I guess he's gone, I mean, I don't know. You know, I went through it all! It's probably nothing else. Hi, Jab Drunk. Welcome. Yeah, I'm sure some of them are probably, like, more susceptible. They would take more physical damage than magic. Corner Trigger is such a good game. Yeah, I have really enjoyed it so far. Hey, what the fuck is that? Hey, what the fuck is that? Let's get on TikTok. Can I not? Oh, Let me touch it. I know! Can't I talk to the fucking fourth angel Ramiel, please? Thanks. I don't think that there needs to be a pixel remaster of Proto Trigger. Personally. I might be the only one who thinks that, but I kind of feel like it's fine the way it is. These soldier games that hits different? Oh, dude, Chrono Trigger's so good too. Like, even just like the world theme here is like amazing. Magic Cave? So in short, Cat took your kill. I, I would love a soundtrack remaster though. Have I been here? There's two magic caves? Oh, we've been to this one. Hi, Lennox, what's up? You accept the treatment that the music in the Pixar remasters got for Final Fantasy for the Corner Trigger soundtrack? Fiona's Villa? I don't think there's anything I'd really add to make it better. I think by the end most of the loose ends are tied off. I think so too. Kermy the boy? He is the boy. The best boy. mid ether mid ether I must not have been here or I completely disregarded this chest. No worries, stars. Oh, you're finding a new place? That's exciting, Lennox. Congrats. There's a bunch of people who made the remastered rendition. Oh, very cool. I would want to check that out at some point. Did we help with this? Fiona. My husband, Marco, is finally home. I, I'm so relieved. Hello, opining lurker. Don't worry, I'm home for good. The monsters in the desert cave hate water, but I can't defeat them by myself. Okay, good to know. Carmi has water. You know, the NPC characters just doing the running man the whole time? It's their idle animation. I feel like... Oh, uh, did I release him from the jail? Loggers. I think this is the cave he's talking about. What's going on in here? Yeah, that was like forever ago. Because we were in prison for accidentally eating that fucking sandwich. God damn it. Sand monster whirlpool, sunken desert. magic time. We'll have four. Lucky. Hexa. Pod. 
Water Garden Sands. Okay, now we just attack everything. Man, Magus is so strong. Man, we are all so strong. I don't like this Hexapod. He's a little rude. Look what he's doing to Magus. Ugh! Ugh! That's a horrible amount of damage. Ah! Shit, okay. Kirby out here doing a, like an illegal amount of damage. Just do water again. Hit them! Water hardened sand? Yeah, apparently. Uh, thanks, Derby, I appreciate that. Such an anti hero. Yeah, I mean, I was very uh, surprised. When they revealed he was Janice. I was like, yo, what the fuck? And he was the dude that's been causing problems this whole entire time. He caused this whole war. I was like, after that, I was like, you know, he probably, he probably had his reasons. I think he's a good guy. Okay, Kirby's just down 24 points, but I think we're okay. Can I get this treasure chest? One lapis. Who else? Just you two? You three? Who got here? Can I do like ice? Is that close enough? Can you guys like stop being meme? Laser spin. All enemies. I don't know if I've ever seen that attack, so let's just do that. Urbanzi! See what that's all about. I always want to think, like, you know, ice is like, holy shit! Close enough to water. God, that is ripped! Timeless doesn't need it. Yeah. I also think. You know, Chrono Trigger is kind of perfect the way it is. Oh, hell no. I am going to kick your butts. I think first we should hit them with water because that lowers their defense. And then we'll hit them with ice. And then if everyone's still up. Really paving the way for Magus to kick ass. Oh, so much damage. He is so strong. I'm so glad I recruited him to my party. Clone Frost was a nice sequel. May I? Can I has? A full ether. Okay. levels for us too. As much as you missed the Mother series, how would you begin to follow up Mother 3? I understand that feeling. Hey, thanks, Ace. Dope. I don't have to wait for Kermy. Not like Kermy takes that much longer for his ATV to fill, but... How you doing, Ace? Made it home? That's good. I feel like everyone's always asking, like, what game do you want to see a sequel of? What's a game you feel like a sequel could never live up, live up to the hype of? This level suggests to you that the designers of Chrono Trigger had never been to a beach before. Look how Robbie leveled up. 
You were good and very surprised. Why are you surprised? I'm good. Having a great day today. Per usual. Though I will say, I did start a little late because I had to work on the VOD thing. Man, y'all, if you guys are streamers, Twitch has this weird bug that happened, I guess, like just starting almost 24 hours ago that started affecting some folks. But like, if you have Twitch Prime or Twitch Turbo, technically you're supposed to have 60 days, AKA like two months of VOD storage. But there's a bug where it's deleting VODs older than two weeks. Elise tweeted about it. And like, thankfully, the last time I saved VODs was literally two weeks ago on the 14th. So I had some that were expiring like tomorrow. So I was able to save them. I like very quickly before stream, like ran over and saved my stuff. So uh, we thought maybe they were like changing some things, but it definitely still says these things on the official pages that it's supposed to be. Um, the same like full amount of time. So I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of like bug. But I'm extremely attached to saving all of my broadcasts. So I was very like, holy shit. I don't know, some folks are upset about that. Because once they're gone, they're gone forever. So. Like with Little Live, the only thing that held it back in the SNES days was that it didn't look good. I see. So it getting an HD 2D remake was kind of what it needed to get on the same love as Chrono Trigger. So it's your knee jerk response to Mother 3, you don't have to think about it. No worries. Hello, Jopium. Well, the bus man was jerk and didn't stop at the stop, waved us to go to the next bus stop. Bruh, I ran but run felt amazing and I wasn't winded at all. Oh, well that's good. You see Parasite Eve, it didn't need any more games after it, it ended on kind of a good note. Oh, interesting. Seems like your workout is showing results and paying off. That's good. You're becoming superhuman. Shadow of the Colossus does not need a sequel. A spiritual successor, sure, but not, not a sequel per se. Did Shadow of the Colossus get a sequel? I don't think it did anyways. A spiritual successor, I think, would be interesting. But I would agree that I don't think it needs, like, a sequel. Sort of controversial, but you're terrified that Silk Song will live up to the hype. I don't think that's controversial at all. I think that it's a very valid fear for many things that they won't live up to the hype. Like, I have a fear that, like, FF7 Episode 2 won't be as good as, like, Episode 1, and that each episode will just get worse and worse, you know? You can think of old games that desperately need sequels. Mega Man Legends 3 development was unfortunately cursed. Shadow Colossus needs no sequel. On the same level, no worries. I'm trying to think, what else? I kind of felt like Dead Space didn't really need a sequel, but I did really enjoy Dead, Dead Space 2. You want a Mega Man Legends remaster for current consoles? As long as Square doesn't go with the original concept for Final Fantasy X3. Oh my god, I heard about that. Such garbage. I was like, that's awful. I personally really enjoyed X2. I feel like having a game of like all female cast kicking ass was like so good for me as a kid. I loved them so much. What an AMC, what's that? No lie, you truly believe Horizon didn't need a sequel? But seeing that it does, you're a bit scared for it. Have you played the sequel? Oh my god, okay, we need that Aeon suit. Look, now everyone's got crazy high defense. Okay. You loved X and X2, or I guess 10 and 10 too. I love them too. They have a special place in my heart. Personally, you think it's bad to compare to the prequel? I mean, I get it, but as long as the game is fun, you try to enjoy it for what it is. Well, which game are you talking about, uh, Lennox? You haven't played it yet? No P5? A lot of the games you've played are like a part of a series. I understand that. Shadow of the Colossus is kind of a sequel to Ico. So this is difficult. I can imagine. 
Starlight Chrono Cross wasn't as popular back in the day, was compared to Trigger too much, I think. I have at least. Oh, FF7 Remake? Oh, uh, I wasn't talking about the prequel. I was talking about episode two not being as good as episode one. Look at all these skills everyone's learning. Oh, PS5. I was like, Persona? Cross doesn't feel much like a sequel. I feel like spiritual successors are always safer. Across is good bought a thing thinking you were getting trigger to surprise. Interesting. Okay, we can go further down. Give me the treasure chest. One full tonic. Hmm? Holy shit. Set an alternate universe with angry neckbeard boys can't reach us. You played cross first. Interesting. You tried playing 10 too, you weren't fond of it being such a shift, but you respect it for doing different things. I know that a lot of people don't like it because it's such a, such a big shift. Um, I feel like if I played it when I was older, I would have felt the same way. Um, I feel like as a kid, I didn't really uh, grasp these things for me. I feel like it was more so I was very like, oh, a new game, you know, so. Well, welcome back, GD. So I was very, I, I liked it. I was like excited for it. But I can definitely see now that I'm older, especially given the, the original story of Ted and like what happens in 10 too, I'd be like confused, you know? You know what didn't need a sequel, The Last of Us? I would agree with that. I think that The Last of Us is such a perfect story as is that it did not need that sequel. I would have been fine with them doing what they're still doing now, which is remastering and remaking the fuck out of The Last of Us. What makes a good sequel? I think that depends on the person, but I'd say the story of the first game hasn't been fully resolved. I think that's fair. Sorry that I'm like looking off to the side so much. There's like a red light flashing outside, which makes me think it's some sort of... I think it's also, I can see condensation. I don't know if that's like rain, but it looks like... There's something going on outside. Hold on. I'm gonna BRB really quick, cause I'm, this flashing light is so weird. I need to go see what's going on. One second, guys.
Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't know what it was. Because it kind of looked like it was in the alley, but it turns out that I think it was like in front of the neighbor's street house, which I didn't realize that I like had a view of the street in front of my neighbor's house. But I also discovered that it's raining, so I put a towel. There is a towel present now in front of my AC, so fingers crossed that it doesn't leak. But if it starts... Oh, I just saw light flash outside, so I think I'm getting a thunderstorm. Um, but I'm... Depending on how things are, if it starts raining more heavily, I might end stream early just to keep an eye on uh, my AC. Yeah. Um, hello, Kevin. Thank you so much for subscribing for 36 months. We're very close to three years. But, uh, yeah. Um, the, well, because the thing is that the AC itself isn't leaking, I'm pretty sure, because, like, Every other time that I've had the AC running, like, it's been fine. I don't think that I need, like, the AC necessarily replaced. I mean, ACs are expensive. I looked at them. It would be nice to get a stronger AC because when it's really hot, it can't do too much. It helps a little bit, but, I mean, I couldn't get my, my place under 80 degrees when it was 90, close to, like, 95 out. But, um, but... I think that they just didn't do a good job sealing around the AEC, but I stopped by the office to talk to them about it because they were the ones that installed the AC. So I did, I, well, I stopped by the main office and I talked to them about it and the chick was like, oh, here, I'll put in a maintenance request for you so we'll have them reseal it. Um, but that was like a couple days ago. I want to say that was like on like Tuesday maybe that I did that? It's been two days, yeah, I haven't. So I'm hoping, I thought that when you stopped by earlier that you would have been like one of them, but I was like, oh, but it's also kind of late for them. I don't think they stop by after 4 p.m. But I don't know, maybe, hopefully tomorrow. Because like last time it was so bad, it completely drenched one of my towels. And then the second towel that, I, that was put in was like half drenched but yeah we run over there tomorrow and let them know what's up yeah we'll see hopefully the towel doesn't get insanely drenched i mean like it was also raining really crazy that one time like it was you know it was like buckets so i'm hoping that um this does not happen again i don't know we'll see but yeah want backup it's okay it's coming down pretty hard right now is it really Ugh, that's no good yeah i'll probably go in again tomorrow and be like hey i was just here a couple days ago but it was running really bad last night hopefully i mean i'm really hoping it doesn't but yeah, we'll see i'm hoping that i'm not gonna have to end stream to like watch my ac to make sure because my grounder and melbourne are by there it's bad yeah did they put anything underneath it i don't think they did the leak is on the bottom right of the ac I'm not sure if they put anything underneath that. I haven't, like, super looked. They might have, but I don't know. It doesn't leak on the left side, so. But, uh, yeah. You know, firsthand how stressful karma leaks can be? Yeah. It's just not good having it near electronics. Yeah, I don't believe... I don't believe it's condensation. Because, like, it happens after the crazy heat wave so i was like maybe it's my ac but when i was in hawaii with my family um i had my ac running like kind of non-stop for those two weeks because i wanted to make sure purse was comfortable while i was away um and i didn't see any like leakage so i like don't think it's that and it hasn't been like i keep my ac running fairly like regularly anyways because I have south facing windows, so it always gets warm in my room. So, yeah, and it's it's leaking on the inside. I've seen like other ACs drip condensation like onto the outside. That's another flash of light. But if I left the AC constant for two weeks, that might have been why. Why what? There was no leak. I'm saying that I left it on constantly for two weeks and there was no leak there was no water that's why i do not think that it is condensation and there was after right after it rained really aggressively earlier this week 
there was a ton of water coming into my apartment is why I think, due to that series of events, that it's water leaking into my apartment from the outside rain, not my AC. Yeah. So that's why. So we shall see. I saw that, uh, I know, fun times. Yeah, I think due to that series of events, uh, logically, I think it makes sense that it would be water. So, we'll see. Hopefully, not see water, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah. And an AC one summer that needed a tube and bucket. Oh, wow. As opposed to lava? Oh, yeah. Wait, holy crap, it's 110, 115 in parking lots? Sound really intense. Try to get the water leaking issue looked at and see before it gets worse. That is exactly what I am trying to do. That's why I'm like, I put in the work order literally like the day after. Um, and I'm still waiting on that. And that's why I'm going to go back there tomorrow. Maybe they need to reseal it. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, you know. There's literally nothing we can do right now. I just wanted to fill you guys in on the situation because I'm going to go talk to them uh, tomorrow. Could be condensate, especially if the air is humid. Tube in the bucket and dumped it every few hours. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know, but I I need them to take a look at it and I need this to not be happening. Near my internet stuff. Um, do I have a dehumidifier? I mean, I do not. That is probably pricey. Thank you, Derby. Thank you for being here. Good luck with your workout. Should I dono fun for a dehumidifier just in case? I don't think, though, that having humidity in my room would specifically concentrate on the bottom right of my AC, though, and cause water to sponge up and fill up an entire towel and a half. Monsters are constantly causing a desertification here. God, it's really rumbling outside. You just noticed this stream notification? About corridors of time? I'm sad because we have not run into corridors of time like once this entire time. <sighs> That's what I do when I'm just sewing and stuff like that. I listen to corridors of time on repeat. What a pain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure though that like air conditioners within them, when they're like running the air, like dehumidify the air that they like take anyways. I'm pretty sure it's like part of a process of something. Bless. Quarters of time is such a bop. Rumbling rain is nice sometimes though. I like it. I'm just like worried now. Like I just have this associated anxiety because I saw how much it filled my, like this towel was drenched guys. So, I was just like, fuck. I like love the rain and the thunder. And I'm afraid that there's gonna be a leak. And if I just have the peace of mind that I know that it's not going to leak, I can properly enjoy the rumbling rain. Maga says, what a pain, which I feel. Cold coils equals condensation equals sucking water out of the air. That makes sense. Okay. I, I wanna. 5,000 G? Holy shit. There he is. Can I open that one full ether? It's right there. A muscle ring? Not all ACs dehumidify, especially smaller ones. I don't know how small exactly this one would be considered. But ACs are so expensive. If I wanted to get an AC the size of my apartment, well, for the square footage of my apartment, because I was like looking at stuff and it's like, you know, you have to look at the BTUs and it was like recommended that you add like 4,000 BTUs if it's included with the kitchen in the room. And because I have a studio, I would need something that's like around 12,000 BTUs. They're very expensive. Oh, I want to look at what I got. Is that what I need to do? Stamina plus six. 
my defense goes up, I say. It is totally fine, Argento. I appreciate it. It is literally better than nothing. Like, that's why I'm also like, it's fine. I don't like need. If the AC itself were leaking, then I'd be like, okay, I need to like nut up and look into investing into an AC. But I'm pretty sure it's not that. It's fine, I can manage it. I do also have a fan, Crows. I have a, a fan that like blows as well to keep the air circulating in my room. Hello, hello, King Brittle. Thank you very much. Remember showing Chrono Trigger on your PS Vita? It was the PSX where you never finished it. Oh no, you should try it again. This game's really good. I recommend it. I have a lot of fun with it. I can run past them without engaging. Can I open this hyper ether? An Aeon Helm. Whew. A memory cap. I wonder if I get anything. Oh no! We got sucked into fighting them. What the fuck? Oh wait, didn't we fight? A guy like this before? Oh. You know, I don't know. Actually, I, I, I don't know about that. What an interesting design. Oh, you don't have to. It's okay. Absorbing energy from the floor. I am afraid. 250? That's not an airline, that's a man. No, it's okay. Red tonight, this is me. I will heal me, Mus. Wait! Okay. Did Ice do any damage? The water attack did zero. Did Ice do anything? Ice did not do anything? That's scary. Absorbing energy from the floor. Let's do the laser spin. Hit all of them. Look at him! He's like a little rave. He raves on these enemies. Oh no! That wound up healing the middle. Fuck. Terrible idea. Terrible idea! It is Disco Robbie. Uh, I think I can just like attack. Let's take this core out. I love how much junky damage Magus does. So good. Ah, yes! Runs away when the core is lost? You son of a bitch. If I break your legs, you can't run away. Defense power up when attacked? Uh-uh. Oh, no. 87. Hi, KJ. Welcome in. I know. These thighs. It's still not running away. Wait, why do you have a disco attack? I cannot believe this. I'll have you do water. I'll have you do a heal beam. Do, 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 do. I am out here breaking kneecaps. That's power is down. Oh shit. What? Oh! Robbie! Oh god! No, the damage numbers are getting big. It's because he's he gets stronger the more you attack him. The more physical attacks you do, the stronger it becomes. No, no. That's why the uh it's doing more and more. So let me just Can you just stop?
Robbie. It's like, Robbie, I need you to pick him up. Hello, hello, Fedora, welcome in. Army okay, really needs a heal. Maybe I should start bonking the head. Ay, ay, ay. Robbie? Huh. Kill Robbie. I know, we've only made him angry! No! Oh. What? Ace! Hold on, I need to pause the game! Ace! What? Holy shit! Are you sure? I mean, like, you already did it, but, like, are you sure? Ace! Oh my god. I don't know if you guys heard that thunder. Thank you so much, dude. Ace really did said he that I'm going to chill. Hello, Cloud and Vision, welcome in. Are you sure? Oh my gosh. I know. That's so nice of you. It's okay, just came out of the Genshin fun. Well, thank you for helping me out. That helps so much. Wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm sorry that the 250 doesn't go to your Genshin fund, but thank you for helping out with AC fund. Thanks. That's very nice of you. Ace is going, I officially am saying Ace is goaded. Congratulations on your VIP status, Ace, for being a, a true homie, a real one, for helping out your girl in, in a time of need. Thank you so much. More important than waifus. Thanks. Oh, now person staff could be super cool and cozy. I know. Now... You can have a command of choice. You get a special roll with a special collar, and the roll can be anything you'd like. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. We'll have to meet up to do a KBBQ celebration. Make it a Kane cry! Okay, all right, I'm pulling the plug here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I hope my party doesn't get wiped. I'm trying to- I'm having a moment! Unlock Nagito laugh! Oh god. I'll look into implementing those for you guys, don't worry. Can I just hit it with ice? The home is just spoken? Okay, BBQ, you just have spot near you on Facebook? When you go home, you're going there? Yeah, he added it. It's so good. Two sets of dice? Oh my gosh. Or a dice AC. Oh, is Robbie gonna survive? Nope. Here to for Kirby. Little did we know we secretly added it already. Added what? Been a minute since we had KBBQ. Oh, oh my god, if you guys already added it, I would have died. Yeah, I think you actually do have that much access. If you really wanted to. On stream elements. Wait, I shouldn't have told you that. Oh no. Oshantum has too much power now. Oh yes! Oh no! Oh no! Everyone's just gonna add really like bonkers things. Last time was back for the SF trip! I'm so sorry. Well, oh shit. It's defense. Defense power now. Maybe we'll do like a quick New York meetup and do KBBQ there. Look the evil laugh! But can I request, like, 
we gotta add, I want some like Obi-Wan in there. I want some like, hello there. Some, I have the high ground. I know I did. Versus like, mom, it's so much cooler. We're no longer in a heat wave. You can do that. How many points I'm ready? Hello, starving artist. This game made you cry at certain points. It's so fun. Like 30 years ago. It's an amazing game and it holds up really well. Yes, baby. Oh, no! Yes. My cat has demanded attention. Oh, he's still alive. Holy crap. Uh oh. Boltonic for you. Pure two for you. Sudden mod attack. <laughs> First you gotta go to Ace. He wants to give you pets. First is very, very shy. So much damage. How are you doing, Starving Artist? I don't know if that stacks having that defense power down, but... Square is giving us game the HD2D treatment? You wanna give first pets and huggles? She is unfortunately not a fan of that. She's not like, oh no, Argenum's cats. Don't do that. Don't do that. She's, she very much like shies away from people. I always imagine between me, G, and Boom whenever someone enters the convention room, we mob them with bright eyes and wide smiles, like, welcome in. Oh, yeah. It's part of mystery why Chrono Trigger 2 was never made. Chrono Cross was only a spiritual successor, not quite a 2. We were actually talking about, like, sequels and stuff like that earlier. And people were saying that they felt like this game was perfect the way that it was, and it didn't need a sequel. That's how they felt. Not every cat could be the best cat in the world. I think Purse is perfectly fine the way she is, but she's, she lets me like smooch her and snuggle her and everything, but I'm also like her human, so. High fives to pets is such an amazing feeling. I feel like you can only really do that to like dogs and trained cats. Dual tackles them with a survey in hand. HD2D is an Octopath and Tri-Strategy graphics. Oh, I see. We're just that awesome. I think we have that survey. Oh my gosh. Bunch of PS4 games in the back. You got good taste? Thanks! It's, it's, just, it's just like my game library in the back. They're like double stacked. PS2, Xbox, GameCube, etc. Stream Alex is resisting the inevitable and doesn't want to load! Live Alive also got the Octopath treatment, you might get that. Uh, I know that a lot of people were saying that it was uh, pretty good. Um, you know, people were definitely very interested in it. Oh wait, it's Waver? Oh. The Waver? Yeah, but we have a Waver, not a survey. Pretty quiet person. She would unlikely be unlikely say anything. Just hi. Cloud on the bike. Yes, I do. Hi, baby. My cat really wants my attention right now. Actually, she just wants to play. Look at the questionnaire. Can I crit? For me, it's like out of MP. Yeah, but that's okay. Let's get that plus power down. Get that crit in. Roro. Just tonic himself. Which is pretty cool, Plume. That's why it's important to stay stocked. Can you stop, like, eating him with your pelvis? It's very weird. I 
I wish I did not attack the lower body as much as I can. Can you just die, please? Please, Kermit to support all the other little Kermits in the world. Rise up for a one true Lord and Savior. That's why he's so buff. Very buff. You don't actually have to speak. Oh, you were the most social introvert ever. I got you. I'm a very shy extrovert, so I understand that. For me, holding the entire world on his shoulders. Yeah. I thought this dude said he would run away after his eye got destroyed, but um, I guess not. Truly balanced. I appreciate you always welcoming me here now. My mods do a great job of making people feel welcome. As do, you know, other folks in the chat. I love when people get like welcomed in and they're always like, oh, whoa, wow, you guys are really welcoming. I'm like, hell yeah. People here are dope. And when you guys get to meet me, I will be shy at first. I feel like that's normal. IRL is always different because it's like face to face. Final strategy was pretty great, almost like a GOT strategy game or something for you know nothing of GOT. Shy. Oh, I was not sure if it was Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones strategy game? I wonder how that is. I still have not finished Octopath, but I've heard that it's so good. And I really wanted to cosplay Haunted, because I love it. Among Us days, story-wise at least. Ah, I was like trying to think of like how it would work with like combat, but I could see how like in terms of story, it would be something that's like kind of similar. Miss the Among Us days? They will happen again. They are oh! long overdue. Now it's just the hips, and now they're weak. Plays like tactics, very nice. Are you guys ready for the shenanigans? That will be my three year anniversary stream. Thunder's amazing clutch win. It's so good. It's great. Looking forward to it? I hope so. Three years, you're scared. All right, don't be scared. I want it to be a good fun time for everyone. Let me see actually if I can pop up Robbie. He's just been like chilling there. Oh my god. Well, Kermie's turn just got freaking wasted. As did my revive. Oh no, and I used it on Kirby! How do you check stun points? I'm not certain. Oh, there we go. God damn it! is best. For 
for the leaderboard? Oh no, you're trying to... Oh no. I am afraid. I am so scared! How much damage does he... This damage is like... Okay. The defense powers up when attacked. Okay. Trying to scale it so it's not super cheap. Oh my god. I don't want it to be something that people can just spam. Not trying to kill me? Thanks. Hello, hello, Shrek! It's been forever since you've seen this game. It's an amazing game. You were thinking 5,000? I was thinking 50,000. Yeah. I'm gonna just hit him with water. I don't have to do water too. No, if it was at 5,000, people would redeem it like nonstop. It would get very unfun for me very quickly. I would go in, like, I feel like my concern is just that people would go in and, like, oh my god, why are you sand cycloning him? Is that people would do it during, like, meaningful cutscenes and stuff. People would do it to, like, be funny and try to ruin the mood. It's been a month since you started transitioning. Oh my gosh, has it already been a month already? How are you feeling? Sure has been nothing like forgetting to keep up with Twitch. It happens. What are we debating? A Kane cry might be implemented and I'm just afraid that depending on how much we put it in for, people will like uh, completely abuse the system. this oozy punch. Let's try this. This is very expensive. 10k? I was thinking 50,000. Oh wow, only 17. A number of redeems per stream? Not if it's through stream elements. Which, I might change it so that it's through, um... I have to do some things to implement it if it's the sound bites, like, through the Twitch website, though, so... Only a 10 minute cooldown? Oh my god, I would put it on like a two hour cooldown. <laughs> I would like, th it's the sort of thing where I'm like, I would make it so not common at all. I hate that sound. I hate it so much. Did Ace break me for a con I cry? No. Our Zenner just realized he could actually implement it himself. Yeah, two hours! Doing good. Do you feel a few angel things physically throughout the month, but nothing too intense for now? I thought it hasn't been like crazy. Wheel of Misfortune, where it's listen to Akane Cry's 9 out of 10 segments? Oh my god. We could put it on there. Oh man. You know what? Rob is just gonna stay dead. He's very bad at staying alive. I don't wanna waste my shit just trying to keep him like alive. Shiaki Hei is like 1k. Nagito Laugh. If Nagito Laugh is like 100k, Akane Cry is gonna be like 200k, and like Chiaki Hei is like 1k. Your brother got a PS5? Nice! Did you guys see my post in the uh, video game chat? Also, Starving Artists, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, my post in the Discord about the PS5s being available? Two hours she really said twice per stream tops. Yeah, because if I hear it like more than that, I'm going to physically go in and turn it off. Cause I'm here to like hang out and like have a fun time. But I would not be, oh shit, I really have to hit him with like water. Uh -huh. 
I would really not be having a fun time if I heard it like more than that. I'd be like, all right, this shit's old right now. So. Well, now I can drop my face. Oh my gosh. Hi, Mike, no worries. How are you doing? See, starving artist knows nonstop sound effects is indeed annoying. I think she would only do it for a fat payout. Yeah, I prefer, it's just, I don't know. Don't you guys have sounds that you absolutely hate to hear? Holy balls! 1,324 damage! How do we get, oh my god, the RR is redeemed. There is a clip of me saying that. Merc sampled it and uh, made a song out of it. Holy shit. Pure Magus. Yeah. Magus is on fire? I know. The sounds you hate to hear nonstop? Oh yeah. If you don't like a sound, you wouldn't even put it up to be played? Why do you think it hasn't even been implemented? Not gonna lie, you hopped out of a stream because you felt like 50% of the stream was redeems and sound alerts. I definitely feel like it could be like a lot, yeah. Can I hear that sample? I mean, it's like available. It's not hidden or anything. Merc made the song and yeah. Awa Awa is like an old reference to like that dog TikTok or something. One minute meme redeems. Like I could not do that. <laughs> I I fucking hate you. I hate this. This is awful. That is so annoying. Never again. Ugh. No. It's the worst sound. It's so annoying. Magnificent. It's the worst. It's the most obnoxious voice clip in all of Danganronpa. Hello, mentally illis. Yes, Argentum. Oh, look, I killed him. Argentum implemented it successfully, unfortunately. See, I'm sorry, Robbie, but we did not necessarily need Robbie there. Magus just said, Hmph. love that. Okay, well, Robbie really needs some, some attention. <laughs> oh gosh. I can tack my way in. Just hear me poop out of everyone. There we go. There we go. streams, if constant redeems and sound clips, but those were casual playthroughs and speedruns, convo and lore don't really apply. It's not a Twitch redeem? Yeah, it's a stream elements redeem. That's why I was like. But trying to do a first time playthrough? Yeah, it could def be overwhelming. Yeah, which um, I feel like pretty much all, like 95%, nine, nearly 99. Like, it's, I very rarely play recurring games, so pretty much all my streams are like first time playthroughs. I assume it's not freely accessible. No, it is not. It is definitely not. Please, no. Remember playing this game on SNES, PS1, Nintendo, DS? Never get tired of it? That doesn't mean much to just say point redeem. Twitch has point redeems? Yes. No one is playing Chrono Trigger? Well, people should be playing Chrono Trigger. SNES cartridge was $69.99? Wow. That's how much games are like these days. 55, 49. I really need to go to a shop and like, I need to go to a shop, I need to go in an inn. Look at that. Good thing we're right here in poor. Hello. Yeah, take my money. PS1 era brought the game prices down to just around 40. Thanks Sony for the reasonable gaming prices. Thanks Sony. You named your frog Kirby, actually. It's because I love Kirby. Oh shit, my microphone's in the way. Well, you can kind of see him. Uh, 
Oh, that's one of them too, actually. My microphone is in the way. I have four Kermis up there. Yeah, and then they went back up, unfortunately. Which sucks. Yeah, Nagito's cloth was posted as well. Hope work goes well, Benora. Thank you for hanging out. Boom mic? Boom mic, I guess so. Is that what this is considered? My Yeti? Would someone like to be the first to use Chiaki Hay? Can I ask random questions on the stream? Like, for example, how do I discipline my cat in a way that's not abusive? You could. Hey, hey. Oh, well, Victor said me, but GD came in and yoinked it. Best girl Chiaki is what you named it? Her voice is so calming. Cafe. <laughs> Thank you. Solid Nero. Thanks for the uh, follow. It is a very cute sound reading. Like, it's just not jarring the way that Connie's stupid ass cry is. It's okay, I took his first. A strange monster came by the other day? Oh, they were talking about. Oh my god, wait, ahem. Oh, I meant such a magnificent frog. He'll be a hero or a chancellor. Oh my god, because I'm talking to them now instead of as Chrono. I have plans of my own. Now that the boy's back, it's time to set my sights on his father. And I thought the hero was from here. What a letdown. Oh. Tata's been working hard lately. Maybe he's growing up. A slimy frogman beat Magus? If I knew it was going to be so easy, I'd have done it myself. Jeez. Okay, well, slimy frog and Magus are both here. I'm also glad there was a cool Damn, what a ripoff for the 90s. Oh my god, and you were gonna redeem Akane Cry? This is exactly why I need there to be like a long cooldown. I wonder what's going on at Tata's house. Oh, I clicked out. Sorry, I'm gonna make sure that the cooldown is long. Because I know, because everyone will really love to annoy me, I need it to not be super duper long. Oh god, how do I do this again? Loyalty? Media request? I don't even know. On bucket hats? A Nagito cosplay? Would you guys want me to cosplay Nagito? Magus' backstory is sad AF2, but it has the best music. The music, generally, in the game is pretty quick. Will we want quotes? I will come back to that. Yeah, no worries. Anything else you wanted? I'm, I'm good. Oh, no? Now we need Nagito laugh? No, I'll take Nagito's huh, but for safety precaution, which is good? Wait, what do you mean? I like them. I got one at Comic-Con. Gotta go laugh from chapter five. Oh my gosh. No way, hell yeah, that'd be great. Wait, what do you mean? What are you responding to, Victor? The sound reading for safety caution? You can huh, IRL. They got a little space mask if you want to hide your full face. There is actually a bucket hat that I really, really want. I'm not like one for bucket hats, but there is one that I really want that uh, has like a cow pattern on it and has cow horns. And I think it's really fucking cute. I'm not, like, a huge fan of, like, cow printed things, but I think that hat is freaking adorable. I want it. Are streaming tools? Stream time. Oh, thank you, Zyron! Okay. Break the bot or spammed out from it. Specific bucket hat. Yeah. If you guys are curious about it here, I can. Oh god. I can pull it. Pull it up. What did you change it to be? I don't know. I just kind of added a bunch of zeros to it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. 
This place honestly just has like a lot of cute stuff. And I would love to have a lot of things. Oh, I also want the bat one. Actually, honestly, all of them are really cute. Cool down one week. This hat I think is really freaking cute. This is the cow hat that I was talking about, but they also have a calico cat version. These bucket hats, I think they're so cute. I bought my sister Monstera socks from the shop. I also love their beanies. I'm obsessed with the frog socks. I love the mushroom beanie and the strawberry cow beanie. I think it's also really cute. I'm actually just obsessed with everything on this store. The balloon sweatshirt is really nice. I need to put this stuff on my throne. Putting stuff on throne is just kind of like a hassle though. But yeah. Frog socks sound awesome. Yes, I'm obsessed with frogs. The planters are so cute. I would love them. Urgh. Yeah, I follow this person on, on Twitter. And it was just like, <laughs> I love these things. But yeah. Is it just bucket hats with ears or horns in general? I like, I like hats with ears in general. Aren't they so cute, guys? They're adorable. The hat is moving to look at. Isn't it so cute? Ugh. It's just like everything that's like designed there. Like, it's so cute. I love it. But yeah, like I have, you know how like I was wearing on Monday when I was playing Stray, the uh, excuse me, oh my God. The hat with the cat ears on it. Love that, love that so much. I like, I have um a hat, like a cap with like a sprout out of it too. I just love hats with stuff on them. A bucket hat with insanely large goblin type ears or something? That would be great. All three of them are too cute, hard to choose. Like one as like a favorite. They're all so cute. The bat specifically makes me think of like a devil Joe from Ragnarok Online, which was like my favorite pet to have, so. Wait, can we donate to you getting more hats like that? Yes. I mean, if you want, if you would like to help me get these uh, things to acquire them of course if you send me a tip and you're like please get this thing so you can wear this on stream so that every time i wear it you can be like hey i did that of course a hat with giant ears is definitely a mood oh yeah ears go like four inches out from your head maybe more hi birds that'd be great yes that's my foot only if it's critical role related. Yo, that sprinkle, like neck pillow, pretty great. We do like cute hats. I also love cute hats. First just came up and smashed her face against my feet. Oh my God, okay. I don't think anything's changed here. First, we love you. First, I love you. She's like, do I get a treat now though? You don't have a treat in your hand? Maybe next Monday when we try to finish Stray. Elder's house? Is there no store? In poor? Purse is very lovable. Maybe there's a store up here. A nod hoodie with long ears? Oh my god, baby Yoda at. Oh, here's a market. Say hi to everyone. Oh, here she is. Here's the baby. Exploring time. Hi. Is the cat? It's the cat. It's the baby. No, don't eat that. That's chocolate. Sniffing my plate. What you doing? Yeah, 
I'm sorry that the music's kind of like a lot. I still have to reorder it. Oh, she might be. Oh, yep, she's she's sitting. It is Curse's stream now. I know. Very excited. Hello, Redux. I think so. I have listed. Can you not munch on my finger? I have my peripherals listed down below, but I do believe it's a Razor or not. I know. Let's try it. Here's this mouse. All my peripherals are listed below if you're curious about what I use. Like, I'm here because you won't give me treats like you did on Monday, and I want to know why. continue our, our adventure. The curvature of the Death Adder. Someone once upon a time was like, we want you to have all Razor products. And they bought me like all Razor products. And now I have all Razor products. <laughs> so my webcam is a Razor Keo. Okay. Bye. Onyx 30. Then Tonix heals. I need more revives. I'll take uh, 19. Yeah, it's probably a good amount. It's pretty sweet. I know. That is the only decision of that individual you support? Really? Good to know. We need the game back. Oh shit, sorry. Ha 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 ha. Psych. Oh. Purse. Ah, purse. Um. Give a razor headset. Not sponsored by Razor me, I am not. You also have all Razor products? Okay, I've bought everything. I am going to save and pause because, uh, oh boy, my, I had food door dash. Oh, my sister got a new phone, interesting. Um, you became a Corsair ho? But uh, on our adventure to continue to try to find Death Peak, I am going to save. We will continue that. I will grab stuff. Is Purse destroying things? I hope not. Yeah, I will check out food stuff. Give me one moment. I also need to check to make sure that my towel isn't like absolutely overflowing. So give me one moment, guys. I will be RB.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Good news! The towel's not drenched, so I don't think that it's like raining too, too hard. So I think we'll be good to play till the end of our appointed time. Thanks! Yes, so, good stuff. Um, okay, make sure. Razor stuff, razor stuff, corsair stuff, I see. But yes. Uh, the razor stuff that I have is I have the wrist rest, keyboard, mouse pad, mouse, and webcam. And I also have a bunch of Elgato, Elgato stuff as well. Like the stream deck, I have the key light. The, uh, I feel like my stuff's like half and half, so. I'm ready to go tomorrow, you'll be on vacation. We love vacation. Yeah. Love those companies, I guess. I can't, I don't know if I'd say that I love Razor, but. I have their stuff and it works well. HyperX headset, indeed. I really love HyperX. When people ask me for like a headset recommendation, I'm always like, I would recommend HyperX. I think that for their price, they have amazing sound. I love them. I've had this headset for freaking forever. I wish that I could, in case you can't tell by like all the colors with like my eyes and like my nails and like my neon border and my general like layout aesthetic, I would love to make this that like iridescent color as well. And probably just paint this like black. But so good. Catch up on sleep. Sleep is good. You got your copy of Live Alive and your new controller today? Heck yeah. Okay, I need to pick up this. Maybe we need to go somewhere. HyperX is always on top when it comes to budget range. I love that they're like budget range, but not bu budget quality. Like I appreciate that a lot about them. The mic that they have, like that goes with the headset or? Oh my God, this looks like completely new. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. Have I been here? I feel like I've been here. Um, so strange, but okay, I guess. Finally got your coffee. Live Alive had come out like last Friday, right? Oh, they have a standalone mic? You touch it to turn it off. Have there been incidents of people accidentally turning it off though? That's where we came from. A subtle red glow? So sound pretty nice. Okay, I'll put that. This is, where is this? This is where we start. Is mountain? A good mic for the price too? Oh, it's Truce Canyon. How much is it, out of curiosity? Try beat it before your coffee is gonna bleed three comes in. You got this, Blue. I believe. Here's the magic cave. My feeling is to be much in wanting to do a haunted cost. It's all good, yes. I love haunted a lot. Market. Xenoblade Chronicles 1, 2, and X. Haven't finished any of them. You bought a Wii U just to play X. I've never touched any of Xenoblade. I'm very curious about it though. Let me see what this guy has. I love Haunted. I mean, she's got a bow. She's amazing. Purse could be the Snow Leopard. Yeah, like it's perfect. I love it. I feel like I should have like 15 of these. Hold on. Ah, no, I'm so bad at this. Nope. There we go. Maybe either I need like nine of these. Uh, heal, revive, shelter. Okay, there's no full ethers, I guess. So. The only reason for your Wii U as well is X. Chronicles 1 remake for Switch. I feel like I should save since I stocked up on stuff. Still Chronicles for Wii and the DS version. 
What's your favorite game of all time, Starving Artist? Out of curiosity. I feel like I haven't played as many RPGs as I feel like I should have. Chrono Trigger is your number one? Very nice. I feel like Chrono Trigger is a solid, like, favorite game pick. Black Omen. Oh yeah, these people talk about the Black Omen. Something eerie about the Northern Ruins. Okay, so we've been here. FF7's close second. You played in 1997. My FF7 experience means a lot to me. The jump from six to seven was like, wow. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get to experience that. The first FF game I ever played was 10. But... Oh, he's not here anymore. Xeno Gears needs a remake. What is going on? Uh, definitely got a replayability of just a little long. Xeno Saga Trilogy, they need a remake or remaster. Okay, these are just sent you. Oh my god! Holy balls! Okay, 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 okay. Crap. These people are doing crazy amounts of damage to us. 300 is nuts. I'm not gonna be able to heal that. Oh. Oh my god, Animus! Oh! Subs only. Nice. You need to turn that up. I appreciate you for, for getting that. Our gentleman set you up. I'm so sorry. 25 years to remaster FF7. You're not getting your hopes up for remakes of other masterpieces. I'm sure it took them a long time to make that decision. Oh, shit, they died. Nice. Got out of the store. People used to not care about the store or their points. And now we're giving people a reason to care. It's an item that trusts them. about our Discord. What if laser spin will work? I just want to make sure that no unsavory folks get it. MP Buster! Oh my god, sound clips of me? Oh hey, there we go. Hello, Simply Coconut? Indeed, we do have the anime cutscenes. Um, I'm emulating this game because you can play the oh, high breather okay and i guess i can't get across here you can play the steam version which i have but this oh fuck the steam version uh breaks on the anime cutscenes when you're streaming for whatever reason oh god Oh, all his, all his, and he was taken. It's good 
to know, yeah, if you are considering streaming Chrono Trigger yourself, the Steam version breaks on cutscenes. I had issues. Hello there. Oh. I love that. Hey, thanks. Um, the Steam version, because like FF4, for example, when I was streaming that, like when I loaded up the game, it like would not show. It was it was super weird and like borked, and I had to like refresh the source every single time it did like any of those cutscenes, and generally like people on stream for whatever reason just couldn't see it. Um, which was very unfortunate. Yeah. And I guess Chrono Trigger does the same thing. Sars told me, because she tried to stream it as well. It's just not a good time. Can you make a command and alias for a redeem? I don't believe you can. I think it's just I could be wrong, though. You might be able to give aliases for Redeem. They surrounded you? I know. Full oh, Ether Kermi leveled up. The Steam version has built-in streaming mode, so they block potential copyright issues. That makes sense. Hello, hello, Wolfie. You like how you're hello there and someone's bonk lined up back to back? Perfect. I wanted to... Oh, Robbie doesn't have like any. Okay. Should be okay for now. Hello, hello! How you doing, Joseph? Stream elements itself has sun bits. That's so funny. Maybe now people will be interested in stream elements again. What was up here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess that is it. I could go a little bit further and I got a hyper ether, but I didn't get anything super new. Uh, we still also don't know what just it is. Sand? Oh. I see. Oh my god, is that what you're- I understand what you're trying to do. I wish that worked. Hello, Jacob. Um, well, what was donated was for a new AC, which I will have to, like, look into. Oh, I will hydrate. You haven't added it yet? I appreciate, though. I appreciate that that's a thing. Oh well. Um, but that's why it says 250. But my current donor goal technically was for the game Cult of the Lamb, where you play a game where you build a cult. No, we're not calling Aces Cult of the Lamb. It's just a cute new game that I wanted to check out. Do you guys know Cult of the Lamb? It looks great. Okay, and then I think... Okay, this is present, but I don't think there's a death peak in the present. How should we finish? Chrono Trigger? You know, Argentum has tricks up his sleeve? Cult of the AC. You're a holy person, you don't deal with cults? Yeah, right. First time hearing it? I can... If you're here at the end of stream, I can show, like, a little... Like, what it is. You wanna play Cult of the Lamb? Right? I do too. This is West Cape. Um, I, we had watched it, uh, like a trailer for it, uh, during one of the game award like shows. Great Adventure Toma Levine. 634. Okay, so in the year 600, Toma Levine would have existed. Mario Cult. Cult of the Lamp? Ah, yes. I too love Lamp. to the ruins. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this. Do not!
Okay, so this is where the ghost is, I guess. Uh, that is the game that I was... I did extend the cooldown, that's why I'm confused. I was talking about the game Cult of the Lamb. That's what my dono goal is. An upcoming new game on Steam. I do want that. Next month. It's coming out in like two weeks. Okay. Well, I don't know. It should, I don't want to like up this, the entire category cooldown. Maybe I will. Yeah. The, I added like a cooldown on everything. I'm just adding more things to it. So, but yeah. Okay, let me see. You still have Chrono Trigger's original 4 CD set OST? Oh, wow. In two weeks- Oh, you'll be deep into Xenoblade 3 and Lost of the World, I see. Hello, Derek, what's up? She's deciding whether to unmod me or not. Oh my gosh. Easy decision! Make you a mod? Oh my god. Who is giving Jake a mod? He will be drunk on power? Yeah. Silent looks tense. No, it's- it's- uh, things are fine, Ace. It was just the Akane card got set off again, and I was like, twice one stream in less than- In a short amount of time, I would rather not. Thank you for hanging out, Trek. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. You came and I was super quiet, because you were wondering what was going on. I was just managing something. That's all. Nintendo moving order from processing to shift for Xenoblade 3. Yes, the, the 3DS and Wii U eShop have been closing. I know for sure the 3DS one has been in the process of closing for a long time. We've been trying to remind everyone that wants stuff from it to get stuff now while you can. Nintendo's been sending stuff out about like merging your accounts and stuff. Playing AI Sonic Frost 2, live alive, pick up your copy of Xeno 3. That's all your backlog? Oh. Like it? I feel like this is all the continents. Mario's a garden gnome. You can no longer add funds on the 3DS. Okay. Well, I feel like I've explored it. Hmm. Do your switch and empty accounts linked? Now we're gonna go to the future where everything's fucked. I don't know where Death's Peak is. 
extract him with cancer. Um, can I get a hint about Death Peak? Hello, Kia, thank you. Unless it's here. Oh, Mario means to end. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, what was that? Just lightning? Fingers crossed they don't do that. Is Death Peak like a place I can go? Did I do something with the egg? I need to go to Death Peak. I went and I visited Baltazar. And Baltazar was like... Why do I keep getting flash? I get flashes over here, why? I went to Baltazar at the beginning of the stream and Baltazar was like, okay, you found like the clone of Chrono. And then Balthazar showed me these like three, like they kind of look like lambs. And it was like, they will help you go up Death Peak. Now go to Death Peak. And I was like, what the fuck is Death Peak? Sewer access. And then I shut them down. But I don't, I don't know what else. I am confused. Yeah, well, I had to go to the fair because that's the first thing I did was go to the fair. That was last stream. I had to go to the fair in order to go. I had to track down the one dude who loved going to fairs. And I did that and they gave me the clone of Chrono's body, dropped it off at Chrono's house. So we went to Chrono's house, talked to his mom and then took the doll. So we have the Chrono doll. Then I came back to the future and at the beginning of this stream, um, we talked to Balthazar and he was like, great, you found the clone. Here it is. Clone. And was like, here are, there are like three things that, I don't know, they said executing program. And then it was like, oh, these three things will help you with Death Peak. Now go to Death Peak. And this entire time I've been looking for Death Peak. Um, I'm in the future now. I've been systematically throughout the entire stream going through every single timeline looking for Death Peak and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> it's been so long since you played, but now hearing clone of Chrono's body feels pretty creepy. Oh yeah. There's a hint per se, but it's in the time I'm in. Okay. Hello, Gigandus. Am I next to Death Peak? I feel like I have to be close to it. Part of the sales from Cult of the Lamp will go- is Cult of the Lamp really a thing? Like, I feel like I have to be close to it here because it's like flashing. I don't want anyone to tell me outright where it is. Oh my god. Oh! Has this been it this whole time? Right here? Holy shit. Oh my god, I think this might be it. It's just not marked. Oh, and I couldn't tell that there was like a path. I thought it was just like a mountain. It's so hard for me to like see things. Oh well, well, you know, it's fine. No, I didn't realize. I have a hard time like distinguishing the pathways from the mountains sometimes, so. But yeah, it's fine. But I mean, it was flashing, so I was like, oh. Oh, Cult of the Lamb, not Lamb. Yeah. This death looking peak. I just had no idea. Okay. Can we revive Chrono this stream? Let's see. Oh yeah, look. Walk when the wind dies and hide behind trees when it blows. Okay. Oh. Oh shit, we were not exactly behind the tree. Lamp sounds funnier. Oh yeah. I appreciate that. Ah. Okay, we're getting close to our end time. I'm so sad. We finally I found it. Spent forever. Oh boy. I know that sound. That's me. No! Yes! We got the power tab! Oh my god. 
Um, but yeah, at like 9.55, I will bring up the Cult of the Lamb thing. We can look at it so you guys know exactly what I'm don't know going for. But I'm behind the tree! What the fuck? Game, please. What is happening? I have to be close to the tree. I was trying to get close to the tree, but then the wind was like really blowing me away. I'm like too close to the tree. Oh, god damn it. This is pretty difficult, or I'm just dumb. Yes. Yes, exactly. This is exactly the roadblock I wanted. God damn it. Did I use brushes for my eyeshadow? Yeah. How much more? I don't hate Ara Ara. I fucking despise Akane Cry. I know, Frog really should just grab the tree, Gigondas. I agree. I actually, my favorite makeup brush disappeared when I was moving. See, I just keep, okay. If I just don't run, I think we're good. Sorry, Victor. I like Akane, but I don't like her cry like that. No, I was not close enough. God damn it. Based staff take on Ara Ara, oh yeah. Not Akane, okay, listen, she's great. Her crying, not so great. Pick up a whole new area, just drop with that near thing. Oh, the church? I live for the fucking church. I love the church. I think it's awesome. Okay. What the fuck are these things? What's going on? Activate? Oh shit, well, no, now we're fighting them. I wonder if they're really difficult enemies. Crackers? I don't know if they're. Oh, wait, I forgot that dark bomb's a thing. Oh! I'm scared. Oh. You know, that's not a lot of damage. It's fine. What the fuck? What the fuck did Dark Mob do? I like saw into its data. That was nuts. Scary. So scary. They are clams before you put salt on them? They must be. Oh, I got the magic ring. I wonder if I put that on Magus. What if we just base boost his magic? I actually like this party, like, a lot. Um, Robbie's, like, okay, he's a good backup healer, but I definitely like having Kurumi and Magus. I would probably, like, if I get Chrono back, I'm probably gonna switch in uh, Chrono and then for Robbie, and then keep those three. So you need to play Nier Automata? Oh my god. Have you played Replicant? I played Automata first, and then I played Replicant, but I really love it. So good. Wait, what? It's not in the church anymore? Do you think it's like a dev thing? Oh my god, what is this, Jacob? If so many versions of the OST. I went to the... Square Enix actually formally invited me to attend the Nier Orchestra, and I was just like... So shook. I was like, oh my god, I would love to. I cosplayed AT for it. My friends cosplayed their amazing 9S and 2B. Where my st my eyes widen in the cliff, probably taken out of context. 
Oh, it, probably that. That's a great clip. The head swivels. I'm just looking around to make sure we're all looking at the same thing. I want to do it again. I want to see what the fuck this is. You totally think it's a dev thing? I feel like it's gotta be a dev thing. Everyone's like shook by how impossible it is. I didn't see it that time. I wonder if it's because I hit two. The Switch version of Automata will run? Is there a Switch version? You never played Automata, heard good things though? Man, it it's a pretty fucky game. So I enjoy it very much. It does some weird shit. I love it. Okay, this is a dead end. Announce a Switch version last direct. Oh. One would be coming out this year. I, you know, I really don't understand or support. Oh, what the fuck is that? Um, this whole movement to bring things onto the Switch because I think the Switch is really a step back in like every way. I really don't think that porting games onto the Switch is, is good. I think it's downsizing. Oh, oh they're, all, they're all dead. I have this one stuck for the first time, gamers. Yeah. Ugh. My eyes widening after seeing the game data. But the portability, like it's nice. But I think that it's a huge, I personally think it is a huge disservice to video games to downsize the quality of them in order to make them portable. The menu appears in the dark bomb thing. Yeah, is that like not normal? The Persona games are going to Switch. Like I fully support older games going on to the Switch, but I don't like, you know, like old mobile games should definitely 100% go on the Switch. I really want like Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons on the Switch, for example. But like, I don't think that we should be putting things. Okay, cool, thanks. What the fuck was that? What do these even mean? Is that HP 515? No, but that's like our information up there. Oh, I see. It's just, the, it was just the top I thought it was their stats, but it's just the, for whatever reason, the menu portion up there distorted down there. Yeah, the menu, that's weird. Okay. You don't get a TV to yourself, so that's why it's a big deal for you? Oh, I see. That's fair. I guess if you aren't able to have that, you don't have like a monitor you could put it on either? I've just like, for so long, I mean, I guess that makes sense if like the Switch is your only console. Zelda the Four Swords on the Switch. You didn't finish Persona 5 and Persona 4. Oh, did I save? Did I just save? On your PS Vita. P5 will win great on Switch. It might do to the graphic style and not too much rendering is needed. Did I do this? Oh God, we're gonna double save because I'm not sure. Okay. Well, this is like the perfect time to pause so that we can talk about Cult of the Lamb. Yay. PS3. Yeah, I feel like if they're like on older systems, it's not too terrible. The term is a joy to keep. Okay. Yes. So if you guys don't know, because my, oh God. My donut goal that loves to just hang out off screen for whatever reason, just kind of hang out there. Um, let's do this. The game Cult of the Lamb. Let's take a take a peek. See. I extended the, the bar because I kept wanting to write things that were longer than the bar. And I was eventually like, I will just make the bar longer and make my life easier. Okay. Cult of the Lamb. Sacrifice yourself in 2022. Uh, the trailer was originally announced 11 months ago. Sacrifice yourself. Okay. 
chair again? That's funny. Okay, will it find? Let me switch to God's Dong and Rumpa Cam. Here we go. Okay. This is it. Oh god. sun cult so i was like i feel like we should get cult of the lamb i feel like it'd be fun yeah it makes me think of like don't starve together a little bit but like exactly built built a cult together instead oh there was a demo at pax east i don't even know but let me see what else there is cultish encounters no one said it was easy to create a cult in the name of the one who waits. Sometimes it might seem like all hope is lost, but the strength of your convictions will keep demo. you on the righteous like path, along with the helping hands of a few friends. Here are some of the folks who will help as you crusade through the lands of the old faith. Ratau. Ratau was once a vessel for the Red Crown. Now he's your guide and I mentor. This. It's so Once cute. he's taught you the art of cult creation, it's only he plans twenty-five to spend his bucks too. Knuckle bones, clown neck. Clown neck is the keeper oh. of the tarot cards that guide you. Love this. You this is. I'm all about cards. this. All my tarot Both cards are right here. Your quest, but choose wisely. Clown neck's face will be a welcome sight when the forces of darkness are closing in. Cool die. Cool die holds the weapons you need for your fight. You will be offered weapons and curses to choose from, this. but you can only pick one. Halob. Halob traps unsuspecting animals foolish enough to wander the lands alone, oh then God. settles them to the highest bidder, unless he gets hungry, of course. Oh my God. The fisherman. The fisherman will meet you in Darkwood and show He's you so the way cute. to Pilgrim's Passage. He seeks the beasts of the deep. If you catch them for him, he will reward you with holy talisman pieces. And the fisherman nice. is definitely a man, definitely not a fish. Oh. You will meet these characters and many more in your quest to free the one who waits. The cards you're dealt, the weapons you're gifted, and the knowledge you gather will serve you well as leader of the one true cult. I love that, leader of the one true cult. So good. A fisherman cosplay? Oh my god. Stray cab you? It's an angry cat now, though. But, yeah. Hold oh, no, on, let me see. Can I look? Cult of the Lamb, up and coming, published. Starting your cult. I don't know when. Look. Cult of the Lamb release date? Oh, August 11th. Actually, this is the day. <gasps> this is the day. August 11th is the day of my three-year anniversary. That's actually, like, in two weeks. I'm gonna be doing my subathon on, um, August 12th. I was planning on doing the quarry, but we could also play Cult of the Lamb. Um, I need to reset the donable, though, because, uh, I don't want to dip into AC funds. 
they knew about the anniversary. They're like, happy three year stream anniversary. Here's a culty game. But yeah. So I set that as my my wish list. My not quite wish list, but you know. Here's your present. Are you donating, Joseph? I appreciate you guys. Are you guys ready for like the fun that we're gonna have? SARS and I were brainstorming. And by SARS and I were brainstorming, I mean SARS was helping me immensely being like, hey, let's talk about some fun things we could do. And I'm very excited about some of the things that we have cooked up. Valkyrie Elysium. Ah, I really wanna play that too. I gotta update my backlog to have all these things. So much stuff now. The one who waits. Soul hackers too. Bumping into my my cart. Oh, I didn't even like register. Did I read that out loud and I like didn't even register that plume? Oh goodness. We can dive into the award-winning MORPG Final Fantasy 14. I might make that a, a reward. How far is the backlog? I have over 100 games in my backlog. And no matter how many games I clear, it just, more just keep getting added. Let me see. Um, yeah, because we have Dongarum by three. I know that, um, God, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I beat Elden Ring. From Soft has been taking my Fridays for so long, but Parasite Eve was what we were going to tackle after Dongarum by two but before Dong and Ropa 3. After we beat Horizon Zero Dawn, I believe we were thinking of going to Yakuza 3 and then playing, I know AI was also talked about, uh, Forbidden West. What, is Forbidden West even on here? I was thinking of doing, um, oops, AI after Dong and Ropa 3 probably. But Forbidden West would have been after Yakuza 3. We're doing Chrono Trigger, then Chrono Cross. And then Final Fantasy V. Okami got totally taken over by Monster Hunter for a while. And then, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing after Elden Ring. But yeah. We'll definitely take a pause and play Cold Blue Lamb. Oh, but actually, uh, psych, did I say that I was thinking of doing the subathon on Friday? I was thinking of doing, like, the full week of, like, my normal streams. So, like, the day of August 11th, the three-year, the actual date of the stream anniversary, I was thinking of just doing Chrono Trigger, like, normal. I don't, I don't know how close we were to finishing the game. I feel like we've got to be, like, at least 75%, but I'm not 100% certain. But we do have two weeks until then, so I don't know if it's, like, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. But I was thinking of playing more Chrono Trigger and then Friday doing more Elden Ring and then doing the subathon on Saturday. Because I don't stream on Saturdays too often. I normally do like 12 hour subathons and especially with like the time difference and everything. I was thinking of doing the 12 hour stream on a Saturday so more people could hang out. But uh, yeah, we shall see. <laughs> what about Callista Protocol? I know, that's also my backlog. I don't think that's here either. Like, it's too much. I put Sunless Sea on here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Don't remind me of that, too. Parasite Eve gave PTSD when they made a live action movie. I didn't even know they made a live action movie. That's nuts. Oh, yeah. I also want more Dead Space inspired games. I love Dead Space. But, yeah. All right. I'm gonna hop up here, guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and hanging out with me while I was playing Chrono Trigger today. Shout out again to uh, Ace. Thank you so much for your generosity. Working on getting a new AC, perhaps. But yeah. Yeah! Glad you guys had fun. So I will be back tomorrow with um, Elden Ring, per usual, our usual Friday game. And if we manage to get 19 more subs by the end of stream tomorrow, I will cosplay Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer. So we'll see. Thanks, Ace. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening or day, depending on where you are tuning in from. And I'll see you guys again next time. Mwah. Bye!